Hello guys, welcome back. How are you today? I'm so happy to meet with you again. In this lesson, we're going to know the types of fractions. Yes, we're going to be working on classification of fractions. A fraction is a part of a whole. This is a whole pizza. If we cut the pizza in eight slices, we're going to have fractions. If we eat two slices of the pizza, we're eating two eighths of the pizza. The number at the bottom is called denominator, and it is how many parts we have in the whole. The number at the top is the numerator, and that means how many parts we're talking about. But now let's begin. How do fractions are classified? Fractions can be proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fractions. Let's begin with proper fractions. Proper fractions are represented by only one whole, like in this case. Its numerator is smaller than its denominator, like in this case, 3 eighths. Improper fractions. These type of fractions are represented by only one whole or more than one whole. Also, its numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Here we have one example. 9 ninth means that our whole shape is divided into 9 equal spaces and the 9 equal spaces are shaded. Let's see another example of improper fractions. In this case, we have two holes and the fraction that we have is 14 eighths. But why the fraction is 14 eighths? My numerator is greater than my denominator. Let's see why. My holes are divided into eight equal parts. That's why my denominator is eight. Then I have to count the shaded parts so that I can find my numerator. And in this case, as you can see, I have 14 shaded parts. So that's why my numerator is 14. Mixed fractions are represented by more than one whole. Its numerator is smaller than its denominator, and a whole number is also present in this type of fraction. Mixed fractions are basically represented by a whole number and a proper fraction. One of my holes is all shaded in, and the second one is 3 eighths, so that's why my fraction is one hole and 3 eighths. How can we classify this fraction? Proper fraction, improper fraction, or mixed fraction? Very good, improper fraction, because the denominator is the same as the numerator. Is the fraction represented by these holes a mixed fraction? Yes or no? Let's think. No, very good. This is not a mixed fraction. It doesn't have any whole number. The numerator is greater than its denominator, so that's why this fraction is an improper fraction. Is this a proper fraction? Four fifths? Yes, of course, this is a proper fraction, very good. Write the fraction. What type of fraction is it? Using these holes, you can write two types of fractions. Yes, we can write two three fifths because we have two whole watermelons and we have three fifths of the other one. And of course, this is a mixed fraction. We can also write an improper fraction. My holes are divided into five equal parts and I have 13 pieces of watermelon. So my fraction is 13 fifths or 13 over five. As you can see guys, mixed fractions and improper fractions are related. They are similar, but that will be for another lesson. For today, we have reached the end of this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me your finger up. 
Thanks for watching. Have fun with math.